Your serious step of the day is sponsored by Soulmart.me. Watch, shop, learn. Namaste and welcome to step 11. Step 11 is also heaven, just like seven. Step 11 is Virgo, the I-B state of awareness. Yesterday, we were in the I-manifest, Taurus, and today, we're in the I-B state of awareness, where what we be is what comes. That's where I got that phrase from. It's from understanding what Virgos are. Virgos are interesting creatures. They really stand outside of the whole solar system matrix. And that's really uh, clear in the number or the astronumerology that represents their sign, which is 11. So remember yesterday we talked about what a 10 was. That a Taurus was actually a Leo with a Scorpio strapped on its back. Well, what does that make a Virgo then? A Virgo is two Leos. And that explains a lot about Virgos, doesn't it? Because if you know Virgos, they are prince or princesses big time, right? But they're earth prince or princesses. And it's kind of funny, but the idea of two stars coming together is very common in the, in your, in the galactic galaxy. In fact, most suns are not alone. Most stars have a twin flame, a binary twin flame. So what's interesting about the astro elements of spirituality is that God is suggesting here that when you take two twin flames and put them together, you get an earth. You get a grounded earth. Much like the idea of water freezing and becoming a solid, well, spiritually, two fire signs become an earth. That's what it seems to be. Fascinating, huh? The other interesting thing is the 11 explains exactly how uh, Virgos heal. Because what a Virgo really is, is two stars coming together and serving as one. So it's not quite like a Gemini that's two, uh, two personalities coming to one. This is two stars, two hearts, two desires. This is why Virgos are never satisfied, right? And I don't know if they ever can be. That star wants to attract each star in them wants to attract different things and they're always attracting these things. And that is actually how a Virgo heals. When a Virgo helps you heal, a Virgo knows between their two stars what integrity is. Those two stars serve as binary polars for them that allow them to see between the two. Much like I protect step zero of Scorpio has the planet Pluto and then Charon its moon is nearly the size of Pluto. So really, Pluto is two as well. Two big gravitational forces, and between the two forces is the boundary. Between the two, bound, two rocks is the boundary that a Scorpio draws. So a Scorpio uses those two rocks to calibrate. A Gemini uses two spheres of the mind to see depth of perception. And a Virgo uses two balls of fire to heal. What the Virgo does is, at the time of the healing, the Virgo lives in one of the fire spheres of that heart and then sends the other heart into the client. The other heart then scans the body and then the Virgo uses that duality in order to interpret um, using the Virgo's own self as the sense of integrity, as the litmus. The Virgo then uses the other scanning Leo, the other one, to scan up and down and see what's missing. Then the Virgo sends the other son energy to bring it back up to the level of where this Virgo is. And they hold that space until the client 
own energy begins to surrender and go with that flow. Now when a Virgo pulls out of that center or out of that energy, then what happens is, is that uh, the client is left to maintain that on their own and if their old bad habits aren't gone, then they will return to their dis-ease. So 11 is just what I described and that's how you call in your manifestation. When you're in step 11, you're in a state of I love myself. That's you being in the one. And the other one is the baby, what you're manifesting. Now remember, it's not alive yet. What we want to do is we want to take that zero, right? That zero from yesterday, and we want to make it a one. See, the astronumerology tells you exactly what to do to manifest. And so what we do is we allow our love to go outside of us in this bubble, the one, and that is us holding space for the manifestation to come. And so this light illuminated outside of us, this lantern, this light casting lantern that we set into the sea or set off like the Japanese used to set lanterns off. I think that's so beautiful, such a beautiful uh, culture. And what we do is people who are here or who hearts are drawn to the light come to build or manifest your project. So people see the light and their heart is called to it. And it's like if you want to manifest a gas station and you light cast out your ball of light, lo and behold, someone driving down Highway 44, you know, it's like, what's that? And turns out this person builds gas stations and saw your light. And that's how God always manifests. The universe always uses people. People always want to say, oh, the, I'm going to win the lottery. No, no. If you win the lottery, it's because a person bought you the ticket. God universe always delivers through people. It makes sense. Wouldn't you use your own children as your delivery? Wouldn't you want to send your gift through a person, through someone personal? Do you really think the universe is going to be cold like that? It's not cold. It's always someone you know, someone around you, someone who knows someone who knows someone. That's how God consciousness works. So on step 11, first of all, if you're not integrity, it will feel weird today. So when you try to hold space for a child and you haven't eaten or you haven't slept, you're not going to pull it off. If a Virgo is going to go heal somebody and they haven't, they're out of integrity, they're not going to pull it off. You have to be standing in a total sphere of solid fire, I love myself integrity. You have to still be the 10 of yesterday because 11 is 10 plus 1. So it's not like you have this one that's floating in the middle of the air. It's that you love and trust from yesterday, and that's your plateau, your foundation. And then from that love and trust, you add a 1. A lot of people don't have the love and trust there, right? And so their baby falls, woo, right? There's nothing to hold up the manifestation. What holds it up is the integrity of the 10, getting to a 10. And that's what's interesting too, which I didn't bring up yesterday, but I want to bring up today now the word 11, is that 10 is such a magic number because if you add 10 to a 2, it's 20. You add 10 to a 3, it's 30. It is abundant, isn't it? And if you have 100 and 1,000, that's a big fat Taurus right there, right? Those zeros are lots of trust, lots of somebody else's trust, like the banks or yours, right? So your power of 11, like the scale of it, is a step 10 thing. You don't put the pressure on step 11 of it to be big or it to be anything. Step 10 is its scale. How many zeros are behind that 10, really? 11 is, you're perfect the way you are. I love and trust you're coming. I'm patiently waiting. And if you know a Virgo, they're pretty patient with people. They're very patient. Um, sometimes too patient, and that's the problem, and then they become impatient because they've been too patient. But that won't be your case because uh, today's step 11 is about healing your own integrity. So. The first thing you realize is, am I ready to light cast and manifest? And if I'm not, you go back to step zero and you refill in the gaps and see what states of awareness are not working. 
If you are ready, then you love and trust and you hold that baby out there for the world to see and you wait. And actually step 12 kind of tells us what we do next. So I will see you in 24 hours for step 12. Today in step 11, restore to your integrity if nothing else. And if you are feeling up to it, put that love, that sun, visualize that baby outside of yourself and go outside for a walk. See what you attract with those two stars. <laughs> Who cares?